It's hard to imagine a couple who are just more gracious and caring and supportive, uh, really believe in the university. When I first knew Jim, unfortunately I wasn't fortunate enough to know his mother, but I heard a lot about his mother. And it was so clear to me that faith and family were instrumental in Jim's life. And his mother personified that. Back in those days, Lewis was a very small school. The most important thing for me at Lewis over the years was the personal nature. And it wasn't just because of the friendships, it was because the teachers, the counselors knew who you were. They helped me, helped me get scholarships, work scholarships. I was a proctor at Shield Hall one year and I had all different kinds of jobs around school. You have to remember that uh, money wasn't easy at the time and it was really nice to have this kind of support. And I doubt very much if I'd have gotten it anywhere else. To me, that was the key that really was kind of the glue that held me to Lewis through the first semester, which was very difficult for me. Uh, but in the end, uh, as I spent more time at the school, I began to enjoy it more and more. I became great friends with many people there, and, I, and of course, we still have our friendships. It's together, really. Uh, we talk a lot about at Lewis together for mission, that's the spirit of association. They're very much part of that togetherness. And it's Anne and Jim together. She's not an alumna, but my goodness, does she understand and value what we are about and what we aspire to provide to our students. She is so encouraging. And so it is Jim and Anne, Anne and Jim together. They're just tremendous friends, uh, people who really grasp the mission and people who are really invested in all ways in making for a great university. Family and faith were the focus of Jim's commitment to, or thoughts about initially, Lewis. He always talked about it with great fondness and warmth. And I asked him one day, well, are you involved at Lewis? What are you, what are you doing at Lewis? And God, I haven't been back in years. And I said, you should go back. I said, it's fabulous. It was a wonderful, happy time in your life. And just see what's happening in the community. And of course, there was Brother James, the shepherd, leading everyone down the paths of uh, ivy-covered buildings and inspiring everyone, particularly me. I was very impressed with the enormous work that had been done in the university. And I just had a feeling that Jim would want to and did get involved in, in what was happening there. I had a mentor, uh, Professor Lloyd Lee, who was also uh, a campus counselor. What is really inspirational is that someone like Jim would remember, would cherish the memory of, and would honor the memory of his mentor, that they really would, Ann and Jim together, establish a very generous scholarship in honor of Professor Lloyd Lee, counselor, dean, and utilize that fund to make possible a quality value center education for a number of students. When I went back to Lewis after many years, it was so nice to go back, still see the personal nature of the university, but at the same time I kind of looked and said, you know, maybe I can give somebody a little push. So that's why I started the Lloyd Lee Scholarship Program. It's med school and grad school. I want to do an MD, PhD program. But now for the first time in my life, I'm actually thinking four years ahead, eight years, 12 years ahead. Um, I have a career planned and you know, I'm actually uh, on my way to doing it for the first time ever. So yeah, Lewis has changed me a lot. I would definitely give back as much as I'm able to because if it weren't for people like that, I wouldn't be here right now. But I'd definitely do whatever I can to give somebody else the opportunities that I've been given. Well, having the Woodcrib Castro Center uh, has done phenomenal things. Uh, but it dawned on me just even uh, this year particularly, uh, but even last year as well, how we did ministry without the space, I'll never know. Uh, there are all kinds of groups that use it. Students, why don't we overnight experiences here? But then every faculty and staff member that have any meetings at all want to have them here as well. Uh, it just is an inviting space. My mother always, has always been very special to all of the Lagrips. And uh, it just seemed like a perfect opportunity to name the garden after my mom. The meditation garden will find people who want to just stop in and just kind of be quiet. 
So it's a great enhancement to university community. It's a beautiful structure. It says a great deal in terms of what's most important to us, and it's deeply appreciated by our students, our faculty, and our staff. When I spoke at commencement this year, the first thing I said is, I sat in your seat 49 years ago, and Lewis changed my life forever. The reality is simply that I like to be able to make a difference. And uh, we're better than the place that really got me started, which was Lewis. Mr. and Mrs. LeGrip, I'd really like to thank you for your generosity. You've made my college education that much more possible, and I appreciate it.